Hey guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. My name is Amy. And I'm Michelle. And we're with the Maker Studio. And we're really excited because you're going to watch. I can't show you just yet. Just give me just a second. But you're going to see something that you're going to be able to make an adorable sign for your laundry room that you're going to fall in love with. You are. So cute. And it may be something that you wound up making for a friend. Mm -hmm. And then maybe even turning around and reselling them. Oh, because yeah. Because this thinking is these would be great the bomb. At Etsy shop. Oh, totally. Totally. Yes. Totally. So as you see us, hey, Brett, just kind of pop on and say, hey, guys, I'm watching you from whatever city you're coming in from because we, we love knowing that. Absolutely. And here's the other deal. If you're not familiar with it when we do these lives, hey, Melanie, if you share the video, tag three friends, we're going to put your name in for a drawing. And here's another gargantuan stencil that we're going to give away that your name can go in for the drawing and we're going to be giving it a, one of these away to the lucky winner that we draw that all you have to do is share and tag that's right share and tag and sharing, sharing is, is caring, caring. <laughs> so i love seeing hey maureen hey nancy hey guys all right so here's look at this we want to just show you we're going to talk about what michelle is holding and then we are going hey carolyn and then we're going to show you this new stencil so really and truly there's so many puns <laughs> on this it's it's great on, we have to have a sense of humor when we're talking about laundry oh, come on it's like, exhausting and you do it 30 times a week yes like especially if you have kids forever i mean it's like there's always a mound of clothes at my house um but look at this so it's it's a larger one of course you there's so many cute projects that you can do on it but look at this loads of fun help i love the help on it amen like so fun wash dry iron but look at the icons are they so cute they're you're so gonna great. see them they're so cute but we all are gonna make t-shirts for ourselves that we says are. alexa do the laundry do the laundry yes please love that but my favorite is bottom amy lost sock seeking soulmates <laughs> <laughs> is that so fun it's my favorite yes yes i'm sorry i have kids we never have matching socks ever i'm like where is the sock i don't know yeah but here's the other thing that i like change from pockets goes in mom's tip jar oh amen my kids are always like but i had a dollar i'm like for real no no i have a dollar there's nothing worse than hearing the dryer hey brenda hey melinda then hearing the dryer just clink, 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 of, clink of money clink, it's like clink. who left the change in their pockets that's mm -hmm. in the dryer mm -hmm. so this is going to be one of your favorite stencils definitely in your diy pantry that you want to be able to do all kinds yes. of cute projects before we show you the project that we're going to show you how to do today that you're going to love look at this Oops. sorry y'all i'm turning it the wrong direction mm -hmm. so we so are pretty. we have already sold so many there are going to be so many people in this maker class this is what we're going to be making in our up and coming See that class. Coloring? It's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. And this is our maker class. And this is what we're making. Is this the best? Look at this. Love it. And so this is. Those the, are upside down. There yes. you go, friends. These are, these are your um, sticks. Herb, your sticks, herb sticks, which I am definitely a. I love herbs. I love these. these I love herbs. So I love great. cooking with them. I love making these pots. And so this is going to be our last maker class in the series that you're going to be learning how to make these. You'll get the kit and we'll be making them all at the same time. So and great. the great thing about it is we, we have our craft. We'll do it. Everybody will have their box. It's a virtual workshop. We'll have a guest speaker. We're mm -hmm. talking about fear and how fear keeps us from living to our fullest potential Absolutely. of who God created us to be. And then we go into breakout sessions. And so you're in a group of people that are like you. They're crafters. They like making things. And then you have 12 women that you connect with. Instead of doing 150 people at one time, it's just a you have a group. breakout of 12. And you're going to get to know each other. And I promise it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So um, this is introducing our new maker class. It will take place in April. And so uh, you, you want to be able to go on the website and be a part of that. We're excited. Absolutely. All right. But don't miss out. We're introducing our new stencil today. Now, you want to show them? This is the cutest sign ever that you're going to want to make for your laundry room. Look at this. Is this the cutest? Now, Wash, dry, fold. And the great thing about it is these are just some wood supplies wood. from your hardware store. And our... 
stencil, our brand new stencil, and some chalk art, and some black Furniture one step paint. Oh yeah. So, so easy. Oh, Laura, I'm so, so glad. Hey, Rochelle. Love the name Rochelle. That is. I grew up with a friend, Rochelle. Rochelle and Michelle, we were a hot mess together. That's funny. <laughs> I'm just processing that. Yep. Hey, Tamara. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Donna. Hey, gu hey guys. Oh, that's so exciting. But you, you need, you need you this. You need it. You need this because it's, I mean, everybody has a laundry room. Everybody has, well, the cool thing about it is just having a shirt with Alexa do the laundry, but also look at these icons. So let's show them again. So we're going to break this out on how to make this adorable board. And so it's so, so cute. You could do it a little bit thicker if you wanted to. You'd be able to stand on its own, but you could also hang it. We did a half it. inch wood. So it's darling, darling. Gina, yes. Even, call. You know, a lot of people, we have live people. Like, we're real people at the office, and so you can call and talk to us anytime. We'll walk you through any any issues or any project that you want to be able to, to learn how to do. So today, as we introduce this new laundry stencil, we're going to show you just, there's so many projects you could do with it, but we're going to show you how to do this. So, so be sure as you pop on here, say hey. Say, just tell us where you're tuning in from. Share the video. Tag three friends. Your name's going to go in for the drawing. We're going to give this away in two days. So everybody all day today, tomorrow, and the next day, would you share this? They will electronically see who all shares the video, and then your name will go in for a drawing, and um, you may be the person you that wins. The one we give a, we give these away so. every time we do a Facebook Live. It's so fun. It is fun. It's like Christmas in the middle of the year, over and over and over. So we're going to turn this down. Keep saying hey, and we're going to show you how to be able to create this adorable sign. So here's our sign. And I'm actually going to walk you guys through the entire process from raw wood to finished product. So I have a raw piece of poplar and this is um, six inches wide, half inch deep, and I've cut it 14 inches because my center piece is 12 inches. So that way you, I want you, them to just kind of see. Yeah. This is your back This board. is your base. And then the smaller wood that she's got at the top is basically sitting on top of it. That's mm -hmm. what that looks like. So we do have two la layers. Thank you for sharing. We Sharon are using carrying. English walnut for the stain. And I am, I told Amy I'm being lazy, but um, I don't want the stain super thick. So I wasn't worried about brushing it on. So I'm just using a lint-free rag. And I'm literally going to just pour a little stain on my rag. But that's the great thing. This is a gel. And then I'm going to stain it. And I'm just going to keep rubbing it in. Um, and it makes it so much faster and so much easier. Not having to mess with a brush. We're not. It's water-based. So I'm not worried about getting it on me. This stuff washes off so easy with soap and water. It smells like orange. I'm gonna flip this over. And so the citrus smell is- Need any more? I might. The citrus smell is unbelievable. Smell of vision. We'll just let y'all smell this. I know, right? This. So I this wish. is This is the gel stain. It's really thick consistency, so it goes on really easily. Mm -hmm. It's not like those stains in the past that you hated smelling that smelled real toxic and that were hard to use. This is water-based, so you just clean your, um, you clean up with soap and water. Yes. But so, it goes on so easy. Don't forget to do your ends. I'm not gonna worry about them, but look how fast. Just a little bit from sure. the, the. Look how fast and easy and beautiful that was. So definitely, if you're one of those folks that has an Etsy shop. I did it anyway. And um, you, or maybe you, you have a booth or you do crafts fairs. Guys, I'm just gonna tell you, this, this is, is it. it. This is it. Put a little hanger on the back. You can have this if you want to do it a little bit thicker, and that way you can set it up um, on a shelf. But this is just one of the many, many projects that you can get out of this brand new stencil we're introducing today. Absolutely. Okay, so this is the smaller piece. It is 12 inches long. It is three and a half inches wide, and it is a quarter inch thick. Um, it was a smaller piece of wood. It came in a two foot or four foot section. I bought a two foot section and cut it in half. And then I just sanded my edges. Um, I have a roller and one step paint. 
um, because I just wanted, I didn't want any brush, brush marks. So we do have these high, they're called high density rollers. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. And um, the wood handles on a Maker Studio. So we are going to have all of our um, Amy Howard at home one step paints in 26 colors on the website on Wednesday. What? And yes, I have to show you. What? I'm going to get in so much trouble. Hold on just a second and I'll show you. Y'all, that's news to me. I have not been let in on this amazingness yet. What? Okay, so I've done my base. Don't forget your sides. They're going to be visible, so we don't want to forget them. All right, friends? And I actually, you're seeing that I have another side painted because that's what I'm going to use to use the chalk art. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a little edge on my sides. So there is my black paint. You're going to want to do two coats on raw wood. Um, the one step paint is like a chalk based paint. And so it does really soak into the wood nicely. Look at this. This is what we are going to have on that. We'll be introducing this on Wednesday. Isn't that fun? So that I'm way, excited. these are four ounce containers of the one-step paint that you can do projects like this. It's going to make awesome. it a lot easier. Oh, and I can't even believe we're doing 26 colors. That's awesome. I know. We're excited. Okay. I'm flipping this. And I'm going to dry up this corner right here that I got paint on. It is kind of nice to roll it on. That way you don't have any brush marks. Absolutely. So this side I'd painted earlier so that I could do our fun... All right, so I have our stencils. We have pulled them off of the backing and I'm looking at, there's adhesive, remember? So um, I'm looking at placement. Now, if you are a perfectionist, you can take a measuring tape, which I did earlier, and six inches is where you're going to um, center up the word dry because that's your center. So, my people are of saying, can you are... show the stencil again? Absolutely. So, while Michelle lays that out for you to be able to see, we'll show it to you. So, here's the stencil. Here's the icons. This is what we're working on. So, what's so great about this one, it's really large. So, this could be a single board by itself. But we love the fact that with, with there's a sense of humor as far as <laughs> loads of fun, help wanted, wash, dry, iron, fold with your icons. Um, every woman needs a t shirt that says, Alexa, do the laundry. Um, change from your pockets, mom's tip jar, lost socks, looking for soulmates, so, or seeking soulmates. So this is the stencil. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love all the fonts on here. There's just a lot of great different projects that you could do. Okay. So with my words, I'm lining them up from the bottom. So I'm just making sure that this, the bottom of my stencil, it's yes, tough. exactly. Um, the bottom of my see. stencil is lined up with the bottom of the wood. And the top one is gonna line up perfectly on the top as well. And they're actually gonna kiss each other. So this is a 12 inch board. 12 inch board. And this is gonna sit on top of the other, other board that we just dinged. Hey guys, hey from Florida. All right, so dry. Is, this is going to center above dry. And again, like I said, I'm going to go off of the top of my board. These icons are so cute because they're so detailed. Absolutely. Okay, here's my washing machine. I want to center that over the word wash. Hey guys, as you're popping on here, my name is Amy. This is Michelle. We're with the Maker Studio if you've never watched us before. And we're showing you a brand new stencil that we're introducing today. And I will tell you, um, for instance, our bird and branches stencil sold out in three days. So if you like the stencil, these are our original designs, but they do sell out fairly quickly. So if you do like this, if this is something you want to make projects with, you need to get it. Like you do. Quickly, because I, I think this one's probably going to sell out. It probably will. Okay, so I'm going to turn it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I am using I Reckon Chalk Art. You could also use any of our other colors. If you've got a color in your laundry room you want to accent with, you can do that. We kept it really simple with black and white. 
and again, chalk art is a chalk based chalk paste. And so um, it's literally chalk. You can wipe it off and start again if you want to make a new design. You could, I mean, I think this is so cute. I Why would, would you ever want to change well, it? Well, I was thinking I would do it in gel art, it's an art to keep it on there a little bit more. But but you can come back with a matte sealer absolutely, and roll and over it. it. Clean, mm -hmm. your, clean your high density roller out that you use to do your black and then just come back with matte sealer. The matte sealer will make chalk art permanent. permanent. And it, it's a completely matte finish. Mm -hmm, so great. any of these things you like using chalk art, use the matte finish and you won't see the sealant. Right. I promise you, you will okay. not see it. Ah, uh, I can't get but my nails up under those. When, you are, <laughs> when you're working with chalk art, oh. you do want to make sure, you got your water? I do. We'll pop this in the water. You do want to make sure that you work quickly and that you get um, get it into a bath so that way you can wash them. So if you want to hand me the water, let's just show them real quick. I feel like I'm going to fall out of a chair, Amy. <laughs> I may mean, have filled it more than I normally do. It's a little heavy. <laughs> you got your sponge or no? I don't have one. Today. Okay, we'll so this. here, I just wanted you to be able to see as far as in the water. You just pop your stencil in the water and with the chalk art, it comes out so beautifully. <coughs> so then I'm just gonna lay it adhesive side up and let it dry. Then I can use it over and over again. So cute, so, so cute, love that. It's very therapeutic to be able to turn some music on, just be able to create, create, be quiet. I love having worship music on. We play worship music here all the time at the studio, but when we do these Facebook Lives, we try to turn it off so you guys can hear us. I am struggling with my fingernails today, Amy. Isn't this the cutest? So this is something that you can easily create with our brand new stencil that we've got that we're introducing today. But the other thing is, this was done with just two simple boards. Two boards. That we got at the hardware store. And the detail on that is really nice. It's beautiful. It's a very cute laundry basket. I don't know about you, but nobody ever took their clothes out of the laundry basket to put them in their drawers. Um, we have fights about it. I refuse to do their laundry unless it's in the dirty laundry basket. So um, when their basket or when their dirty clothes has piled higher than they can or they run out of underwear typically, then they're like, mom, I need to do laundry. I'm like, well, bring it to me in your laundry basket. So stuff gets put away then <laughs> when it's time for more dirty to be washed. <laughs> so look at this. So here's your center board that's going to go on your backboard. The great thing about it is I think the black, this was painted with the black one step. Mm -hmm. You can use the I Reckon or Peace, um, and, Joy. Peace and Joy as the, um, as the chalk art. This chalk art, which is I Reckon, is just a little creamier, Creamy. grayer mm -hmm. than just a stark white. Personal preference. Yes. Okay. So... Amy, if you'll peel that off for me. I don't care what the back looks like. We're not gonna see it. Okay. I just didn't wanna leave black paint all over my count, my top. Okay, so what I'm doing with this is I basically have an inch all the way around. So I look at my placement to make sure that I have an inch at the bottom and an inch at the top. If you're a real perfectionist, again, you can get out your um, measuring tape and lay things out. And then I have a hot glue gun. And the reason I'm using the hot glue gun is because I'm going to put furniture brads on this and I don't want it to slip while I'm nailing because that would just be sad. Yes. So I am adding just a tiny bit of glue right here. 
and right here, just on these edges. I don't need a lot. And then I'm going to work my placement. I just again. think having this stained backboard is so, so pretty great. with the black. Yes, it I is think it very makes classy. It a great looking, expensive looking. You would totally find this in a gift shop. Oh yeah. I know the I know the gift shop in Memphis that I think about that I would see this in. But this is something that you could we we here at a maker studio say it's about enjoying the bragging rights. Mm -hmm. So we want you guys to share this video as that you're seeing and tag three friends and guess what? Your name is gonna go in for a drawing for this fantastic new stencil that we're introducing today that we're doing this one of many projects that you can mm -hmm. do with it. And you should also join the Crafting Beautiful Life Facebook group. Cause that we, way you can show what you make. I'm like, we think sharing is caring and we want you to know how we make some stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so last step is your furniture brads. Furniture brads are longer, like upholstery brads, they're longer than a normal one. You glued it down, you could just do basic tacks if you wanted to. Yeah, they can be fake, I could just glue them. It's just the look, but I do love the look. And then you need a hammer. And I just worked my placement, I wanted it in each corner. So I the other sat. The thing that this does too, it adds texture. Absolutely. Um, it kind of makes it look kind of farmhousey. Done. You want to do another one? Yeah, it's kind of fun. It it makes take me your feel frustrations good. out on um, hammering it. Just don't hurt your fingers. You only hurt at the beginning. Ta -da! See the texture that that adds by, it does. by putting those on it here. Does. Love that. Should it we takes do it to more? a whole nother level. And at least with the hot glue gun, it kind of held it down. It did. And that's why I glued was just, I didn't want it to slip. You know, getting a brad in is not always easy. Sometimes they go sideways or crooked. But if you didn't want to do this with the brads, you could just do a hot, glunt, a hot glue gun and just um, glue a tack on it. Mm -hmm. But we like how the stain, we, again, if you're just now popping on, we stained the first board with English walnut and we just wiped it on with a rag. You can go back and just do um, hashtag replay. And then we painted, um, what's the dimensions of this board again? This board is 14 by six by one half inch. So it's just a half inch, it's a very thin board. <laughs> And then uh, we stained this with the gel stain, English walnut, and then painted this with the black one-step paint, which these will be on the Maker Studio website so on Wednesday. About that. I know, I am too. And then we used our brand new stencil, um, our laundry stencil that we're introducing today here with I Reckon Chalk Art. How cute is that, guys? If you want to make this permanent, all you do is take the same um, high density foam roller that we did the paint with and roll on our matte sealer, matte sealer that's on the website. So now we've got matching boards. Two. Is that the cutest? So it's definitely something that you can enjoy the bragging rights from. Good job. So our, oh, there it is. We totally have um, Don't issues on with it. that. What are y'all doing? You've been watching. But anyway. I just think this is the we cutest. Love it. we it's love just it. it's just the cutest. And y'all seriously, it took I mean, we just made it really quickly, but even with all of my prep time, it was an hour. Yeah. And I was done with this project. So if you have an Etsy shop, if you have a craft booth, if you have there are so many, you need to make um Alexa do the laundry yes. t shirt. <laughs> and then totally make these. These would be great gifts. Absolutely. To give away. You could have a cute little ribbon Absolutely. put it home. We've talked about that, all the different ways that you could do this. So Hopefully, this end encourages you, it inspires you, and you're like, I'm totally, is one of them going to be in a giveaway? If you share and yes. tag three friends, you yes. have the chance. <laughs> we'll do it. To we'll do, do it. it. I love that idea. Dino. Wednesday. Yes. Oh, we'll you mean that. these? Yes. yes. Well, let's maybe. do it. Let's do it. Okay. I made them just for this, so yes, we can do this. So let's do this. We're going to give the stencil away, and, and we're going to give, please, Dean is like, Please, yes. Please, please, please. So sharing is caring. Y'all need to share, share this video 
and we'll give away this sign as well as a stencil. How's that? Love that. See? That's we, the great you know, thing about we lives. We haven't given away something we've created in a while. That's we a haven't. good question it's to time. ask. It's time. It's time. time. It's we time. needed to do that. This is a fun one to give. It too. was. Oh, I know. We're so excited. We just love this so much. So anyway, so Thanks great job, asking. Tina. We're so, we're so <laughs> glad you asked. So anyway, well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. We've got some great projects, some brand new stencils all week that we're going to be introducing. This is going to be one of your faves, I promise. It will. Thank you for sharing. And you share. If you're watching, if you see this, today, yeah, we just tomorrow, the and Annie Wednesday. Yeah, we just the sharing, y'all. Seriously. Yes. Up to the Annie. You're getting the board. <laughs> Yeah, so you want to make sure that you, you're doing this. So anyway, have a great week, everybody. Smile. It's Monday. I don't know what the weather's like in your neck of the woods. So but pretty here. it's a blessing. It's spring. Spring is on the way. The daffodils are blooming. And um, sadly, there's still a lot of laundry to be done. But um, it's, it's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great week. <laughs> have a great week, everybody. Bye.